All right. Um, emergency response to unit train incidents. Um, how tomorrow moves? CSX. The publication is dedicated to the emergency response, emergency management, homeland security, and law enforcement professionals. You can train safety, supplement, supplement and overview. The guide with the, provides with the response information emergency first responders dealing with the unit carry with the hazardous materials. is a supplement to the CSX Community Awareness and Emergency Planning Guide to the Railroad Incidents. This guide is not a substitute for effective regular communications during the rail-related rail emergency call. The CSX Public Safety Coordination Center, or PSCC, immediately 800-232-0144. For, to access the most update hazard information response center. To report CSX Railroad Emergency Call, CSX Public Safety Coordination Center, PSCC, immediately 800-232-0144. Included in this guide is about CSX unit trains, commodities tra transported in CSX unit trains, train documentation, railroad resources response protocols, tank cars, Unit train emergency response information, differential product um, by product, petroleum, crude oil, ethanol, anhydrous, ammonia, molten sulfur, acknowledgments. All right, about CSX. CSX tra um, transportation provides a railway intermodal rail track, um, rail tra truck transload service to customers over the 23 states, District of Columbia, and Canada, Providence, of Quebec, and Ontario, which the team of 34,000 dedicated employees across the 21,000 mile network. CSX moves a wide variety of products, essentially the U.S. economy, ranging from steel to concrete to food to grain, as well as hazardous material safety performance. <clears throat> Safety is a core value of CSX. CSX has invested billions of dollars in the last few years in infrastructure, maintenance, employee training, community safety outreach programs to help ensure the safety and security of the network and communities which are operated. Over the last decade, CSX has reduced the train accidents by more than half and will continue to improve the safety in the years to come in enhancing the technology infrastructure procedure. Community emergency first response playing an integral role safeguarding the communities as well as CSX safety mission, particularly when it comes to transportation and hazardous materials. When the railroad has proven that the safety mode of transportation and hazardous materials is most important the emergency first responders communication, communities are aware of the potential safety hazard emergency and environmental impacts of the rail incidents involving these might entail. Unit train commodity. The commodities transported by the CSX and the unit trains driven by the industrial markets of the customer demanded by the unit train services offered with the shippers receivers based on customer need. The very majority of the commodities CSX transport the unit trains not hazardous such as grain and coal. This guide focuses on um, those train commodities that are classified in the U.S. Department of Transportation as material. This guide also provides emergency first responders with an easy access information on how to save and fully manage an incident involving one of these commodities. CSX unit transportation. The following hazard material, petroleum, crude oil, ethanol, anhydrous ammonia, and molten sulfur. Note that hazardous materials can move in the single car and all types of rail cars across CSX network. What is a unit train? A unit train is a train made up of the rail cars and the sum commodity throughout the entire train. The unit train typically moves from one point of the origin of the shipper's plant from the single destination. The train provided with the customer with an efficient, economically serviced bypassing normal freight classification practices that include separating the cars and train at the yard yard and repositioning them into other trains. Hazardous material shipping papers. The units are compromised with a single commodity throughout the entire train. When observing the long string of the rail cars containing the hazardous material, they may indicate all the other cars in the train are in the same only way to be certain to access the hazardous material shipping documents. There are four primary ways of accessing hazardous material shipping documents. Locate the train crew, typically located in the lead locomotive of the train. Call CSX PSCC 800-232-0144. Call the State Emergency Response Center. If your state has a CSX Secure Now partnership, contact Chemtrek 800-424-9300. Train crew. If the train crew uh, members will com copy the trains, has material shipping papers in their possession, are instructed to provide paperwork to the first responders upon request at the site of the train emergency. CSX Public Safety Coordination um, 800 232 0414. CSX Public Sort of Safety Coordination Center um, is staffed by 24/7 hours. Has material safety and immediate access to the train commodity information. Public Safety Coordinated Center um, utilizes state of the -art site, uh, state of the art assets. The tracking software access information cannot send with a spreadsheet or PDF to a fax machine, computer, mobile desk uh, device. The quickest way to access information is to provide an operator with a car and local model initial number. 
All right, to report a CSX emergency, call CSX Public Safety Coordinating Center immediately, 800-232-0144. State Emergency Response Center, as part of the emergency plan, public partnerships has provided most states in our 23-state rail network in which access network operation works station. While the railroad will always have the quickest access to information about the train access, the railroad response personal resource, State Emergency Response can access the distribute and train consistent heads of material shipping papers. All right, Chemtrek 800-424-9300. In addition with state planning with the partnership, CSX has given a Chemtrek access to the CSX network operation work day, uh, station to enable the Chemtrek representatives to access information about CSX trains to commu communicate to responders. Residual shipments, beware of the shipments marked on the shipping paper and it's residual empty, but there's still contained residual amount of the tank in the tanker car. All right, your train documentation. A train consists of the primary shipping game paper used for the CSX of the railroad operation. When hazard materials are present and present in the train, the train contains the following four basic sections. Um, a tonnage graph, a list of each of the cars on the train, initial number at the beginning with the first car, and showing the car numerical train, marking all the cars and containing hazard material in series of ages. Tonographic errors of material, key train, train number, um, origin, Time consists of C shipment covered with clearance bureau, GR potential restricted equipment, C restricted special handling, list reference table operating rules, mechanical institution, long sh long car, short car, empty t t t tr 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 um, trailer of flat car, plat size, plate size car type, any load, um, car initial and dot UN number. Key post number each state, uh, each one tons of linkage. A position in the in-train document to notice that the rail car units contain the hazardous material port products, four-digit ID number of the car initials, and the numbers repeated with whether or not in the car is loaded or empty, that whether the car is contained residual. All right, your position in the train document, figure two position train document. Notice the rail car's units containing hazardous material, train number, um, B, uh, cons the following rail car contains, units contain hazardous material located in the train. You must be positioned in the train in orange. Accordance with the federal regulations, whether the chain in the position of the hazardous material car on the train, the conductor of the designee must immediately update the document to show the new position of all hazardous cars. Um, position in inhalation hazard zone or zone environmental sensitive chem chemicals, radioactive, flammable, and explosives. And it shows a container list. A train listing hazard material description list again with the showing of the car initial number of the position of the train number of the shipper and receipt of the emergency telephone the product hazards class proper shipping name standard low transportation commodity code or STC standard transportation commodity code state structure system and again specific numbers specific article commodity of the group of articles commodities were offered and transportation by the rail. Figure three, train listing has material description. Train listing has material description. Train number, um, the cars in this consist of the count of the, from the rear, front to rear, the CSX and the car numbers. The title of the car number, um, the petroleum crude, class three, user emergency contact, shipper contact, chemistry, fisher, from shipper, high Sierra energy, lip shipping, um, address, the two consignee, the cons address in Philadelphia. For hazard special handling instruction describing emergency handling precautions, hazard special handling instructions, emergency handling precautions, class 3 flammable liquid, petroleum crude oil, the material of fire and bond involved. If material on fire is not involved in fire, personal protection, environmental consideration, land spill, environmental consideration, water spill, environmental consideration, air spill, first aid response. All right, Railroad Resource Response Protocols. In the event of the emergency, immediately contact CSX Public Safety Coordination Center, 800-232-0414, and providing the initial number to leave locomotive with the rail car from the train with the exp expedite the PSCC to identify the exact location. The CCS P P um, Public Safety Coordination Center will compromise communications to equip the assist in the event of the emergency situation, including the rail incident derailment container sales. CSX intermodular resources include the Transportation Mechanical Engineering Department Review representatives have Material System Environmental Department Representatives Corporate Communications for Public Affairs Representatives CSX Police Department Representatives General Claim of the Representatives CSX Emergency Response In the event of the derailment spill CSX will quickly deploy trained and trained employees and contractor resources CSX maintains contract agreements with pre-qualified regulated audited emergency response contractors and environmental consultants capability of responding to all the emergency 
all aspects of the emergency with the uh, on the scene contractors at the agent CSX will work directly on the CSX control supervision. In addition with performing assets, monitoring public health exposure to potential hazard material plug contact, CSX contractors perform a number of vital tasks working in the accident and scenes. All right, the contractor trained personnel, firefighting, spill containment, expert expertise, equipment to manage incident involving fire, leak, or potential spill, industrial hygiene, public health contractors, the actual expert equipment to perform the on site and off site water sampling, environmental response contractors, vacuum equipment, pumping equipment, highway tankers for the recovery of spilled products, environmental recovery contractor, technical expertise, on site remediation, removal of contaminated water and debris for the incident site. Railroad re-railing wrecking contractors having equipment such as cranes on track, lifting equipment, heavy earth moving equipment, equipment operators and ground crews, lifted, re-railed, damaged cars, and locomotives. Are your tanker cars or primarily containers used to transportate hazardous material in the rail basic incident damage assessment? The correct dissemination information concerning location, position, position of the damage. The system has been established and identified the left and right side of the railway tanker cars regardless of the position of the car. And orientation begins with the B end of the car and the B end of the car it has its band brake. The end of the opposite brake end is called the end. To determine whether the side is left and which is the right, one one would show one one would stand facing the B end to the right to the right, uh, right is the right, and to the left is the left. The figure on the next page shows the scheme of all the railway cars, ta type of typical tanker car fittings union, manway safety valve inside protective housing, protective housing, protective housing, safety valve. Car weight reporting marks and capacity in U.S. gallon liters. Reporting marks may be on the top of the railway car. All right, um, tanker car marking is essential. The final photographs show that some of the most important sensors for the rail car tanker cars of, of, of particular interest emergency responded to the DAS specification sensors, which appear on the right hand side of the both of the sides of the car. Additionally, additionally, sensors show the liquid capacity of the car in gallons, liters are shown on both ends of the car. On the left hand side of the car, the reporting marks reporting marks contain the car's initial number that indicate the owner and serial number of the car, of the car initial number, the vital retrieving information concerning the car landing, shipper, and consigning the event of the emergency involving the rare car, a of retemp should be made to determine the car's initial number so the information concerning the specific car can be obtained. Rail car's initial numbers are two most of the more important piece of the information emergency responders can obtain with the scene of the railroad emergency. All information related to the rail car reference and the use of the car initials and numbers responders shall assist the accurate record of the report the initials numbers of the cars involved in derailment or other emergency situation. The rail car's number, initial number and stencil both on side of the rail car to the left on both ends of the rail car sometimes is located at the top of the car closest to the B end. All right, your DAS specification stenciling show right there. Um, tanker specification, railroad tank cars are divided into two major categories, general service and high-pressure cars. Each type of tanker car distinctive characteristics provided with valuable information emergency responder. General service tanker cars have the tank pressure at a little bit below 100 PSI. Also have exposed, exposed valves and fittings at the top and the bottom of the car. Pressure cars are often, on the other hand, with the tank the pressures at 100 to 600 PSI. Have no exposed, exposed valves fitting on the car, although unloading and unloading valves are located in the protective housing at the top of the car. The following figures illustrate how it might be able to identify the type of the tank of the involving looking at the car silhouette. All right, this shows the general surface low-pressure tank car not exposed to the fitting of the top of the underneath. The high-pressure tank car noted the single protective housing at the top of the car and fittings underneath the car. Are your tanker car design of evolution? Railroad tanker cars use the transportation hazards of use the Department of Transportation. All flammable liquids move on the Department of Transportation specified three of the series of tank of the dot three. When you use, see the dot three marking on the tanker car, indicate that the tanker cars are, bought, are not for pressure less than 100 psi. So with the dot and three tanker cars are commonly referred to as general service tank cars. The safety features of the general DOT-3 tanker cars have enhanced over time. Many can contain a variety of safety upgrades depending on what commodity they were built and transferred when they were built. <laughs> a DOT-3 build, build after October 2011 transportation flammable liquid screwed out and all will enhance and safety features additional tank thickness, jacket protection, head shield protection, end of the tank, the rollover protection to prevent shearing from the valve to the top of the car, possibility thermal protection to protect the car from fire. 
In addition, um, the recent safety improvements the freight railroad industry continues to work with customers, government, and more additional improvements to general service dot three tanker cars are used in transportation flammable liquids. Evaluation of the railroad industry tanker car standard for crew oil. The railroad industry pros, proposing increase with the federal tanker car and design the construction standard for the new tank of the cars used to be in transported crude oil. The purpose of the crew comes to the previous upgrade um, proposal for the industry volunteer adopted and has been observant. Since 2011, the graphic shows an additional with the tank of the components that will include with the rail industry. High capacity pressure relief valve, current standard, and the latest rail industry proposed. No requirements, requirements, high um, capacity pressure relief dev devices containing against the rise of internal pressure resulting in the fire provided with the release of the product. Top fittings and protection, current status required with the fitting of the protection to protect the integrity of the valves and fittings to be loaded with the product in the event of the accident. The latest rail industry proposal contains same requirements. Steel tank requires a minimum of a half inch thickness of steel tank the unexpected cars with a minimum of a half inch thick minimum of seven sixteenth of an inch steel tank or jacketed cars the latest require minimum of a hat of something sixteenth thick the steel thickness of the car Heat shields, current standard, requires minimum of a half inch um, thick the base shield, both ends of the top of the car, improve the resistance, require a half inch thick full length head sheet with the both ends of the tank car, bottom outlet handles, current sta standard is no requirement, Bo um, latest rail industry proposal requires both outlet handles configured to prevent the handle inadvertently opening the bottom of the outlet's event in the accident. Jacket and thermal protection, um, current standards requires a minimum of a half inch thickness steel tank or a half, one six eighteenth of an inch steel jacket requires the additional bottom of the eighteenth of an inch, one eighth of an inch thickness steel jacket around the tank of the car thermal protection. All right, petroleum crew number unit UN number 1267 dot hazard class three packing group one, two and three emergency response guide 128. Safety at a glance, the property of the cool oil can vary significantly be in the region. Common varieties of light, sweet, crude, and heavy crude oil. The various majority of the crude oil unit trains on the CSX contain light, sweet, crude from the back end region. The only way to know which variety of the crude oil is rail car is contact CSX 800-232-0144. Light, sweet, crude may contain flammable gas, including butane, pentanol, propane, may contain inhalation risk of hydrogen sulfide gas. More violet pressures than point of crude oil. Every crude often from Canada um, it likely contains inhalation risk of hydrogen sulfide gas, typically lower volatile than light crude. Recommending training and resources. Trans CSR crude oil emergency response training of the trans carrier. carrier um, CSX has more specific information than CSX crude by rail. To report CSX Railroad Emergency, call CSX Public Safety Coordination Center immediately 800-232-044. Then it shows another page with the potential hazard public safeties and emergency responses. Alcohol NOS ethanol unit number 1987 the Department of Hazards Class 3 Packing 1, 2, and 3 Emergency Guidebook and 127. Uh, safety at a glance, ethanol is a pure grain alcohol detonator, detonator uh, additive, typically detonate, sorry, with a denature additive, denature with additional 2 to 5 percent gasoline. Fire burns with low blue, blue fuel. Fire may become, may require alcohol restraining foam. Recommended training resource, the Transcar Ethanol Tour Training, the Transcarrier, Carrier.com, Renewable Fuel Association Information Training, Ethanol OLRF. Ethanol RFA or Renewable Fuel Association, and Ethanol Emergency Res or Response Center, ethanolresponse.com. To report CSX emergency, call CSX Public Safety Coordination Center immediately, 800 223. And this gives the uh, potential average public safety and emergency response. Ammonia anhydrous unit UN number 101005. Hazard class 2223 Canadian Emergency Response Guide 125. Safety at a glance, an anhydrous ammonia inhalation hazard and anhydrous um, an effective order warning property smells at 3 p.m. and recommended training resource the transcar anhydrous ammonia training with the transcarrier.com. 
Report CSX Railroad Emergency CSX Public Safety Coordination immediately 800-232-0414. Guide shows potential error to public safety and emergency response. Sulfur Molten UN number 2448. Dot Hazard Class 9. Packaging 3. Emergency Response Guide 133. Safety at a glance may contain inhalation risk of hydrogen sulfide gas loaded at 280 degrees with plus or minus 15 degrees sulfide at 250 over time. The transit proper properties of molten sulfide changes and solidifies becomes aware becomes aware of heat hazard liquid phase and vent with derailment breaking leaking contents of elevated temperature. Recommended training resources sulfur institute molten sulfur rail tank guard guidance at the sulfur institute.org. Report the emergency at call CSX Public Safety Coordinated with Cementer immediately 800-232-0144. Potential hazards, public service, emergency hazards, um, acknowledgments. CSX would like to thank the many individuals association company ship with the refiners that contributed to creating the document knowledge and insight with the experience and dedication to help the provider with emergency first response. While well, using the training information can demo the serviceable shipper received with the contributed to public safety information would likely satisfy with the recognized American Petroleum Association, American Association of American Railroads, ARKDAS, U.S. Incorporated, Central Toxicity, Tax Toxology, Environmental Health, Chemtrick, Fertilized Ancient Renewable Fuel, Association Sulfur Incident Trans Carrier. For questions, comments, concerns, the document of, of the contact CSX Transmission System, 500 Water Street, J275, Jacksonville, Florida, 32202, or CSX.com. Non emergency comments, questions, 800 Tell CSX or 877 835 5279. For emergency responder, the document is available online in addition to the Emergency Response Incident Self Study Guide by con um, contacting CSHHASMAC.CORE-TX. The uh, Emergency Response Railroad Incidents and Comprehensive Self-Study Increase the First Response Agency Briefing of the Safety Working Emergency Situation Railroad. Course materials include the workbook, exam, completion, CV, certificate, and DVD notes. And then you got your Public Safety Coordination Center, 800-232-014. Now let's go back to, um, let's see if we can't read these. Right. Well, there's crude oil. All right. These are just bad. All right. That was going to conclude. Um, Um, that concludes your emergency response unit training incidents. Um.